to the Florida Atlantic Owls. And that, of course, coached by Willie Taggart, former Florida State coach, former Oregon coach, former South Florida coach, etc. cetera. He, uh, he has made a name for himself in Florida. He has. That's, that's and he's he done does. well while in Florida. He didn't do well when he left Florida. Correct. But he's done pretty good things while in the state of Florida. Yes, he has. Uh, surprising defense last year led them to a 5-1 and one start. They dropped their last three games due to a really poor offense. Now, he looked to fix that in the offseason, brought in veteran offensive coordinator Michael Johnson. His son, Michael Johnson Jr., transferred in from Penn State. They've got a lot of returning production, but it's not super proven. They, they had last year, but it, it wasn't a long year, and, and they didn't exactly – show a bunch of numbers. Like yeah, I mean, but last year was yeah. a weird COVID. I kind of give a lot of teams a pass on last year. Yes. Uh, defense brings back 12 players with 200-plus snaps, so that is always a good thing. However, they replaced defensive coordinator Jim Levitt with Mike Stoops, who was an analyst at Alabama last year. He was most uh, notably fired as defense coordinator at Oklahoma by Lincoln Riley a few years ago. Um, and Oklahoma has improved without him at the helm. You know? But I, I trust Willie Taggart's defense. I, I tend to. No, as well. I think that's the difference here. Is I, I think it's Willie's defense. I don't know that I worry so much about the the coordinator there. I feel like it was Jim Levitt's defense. That's how I. That's okay. how I view it. All right, um, I might be wrong on that. Then. The the win total here is seven. The S and P pl- or SP plus Bill Conley mm-hmm. over at ESPN's projected record seven and five. FPI's projected record seven and five. The win total is seven. I'm going under. Okay. I'm going under that win total. Minus 140 is the juice there. If you wanted to go over, it's plus 110. Uh, I think Florida Atlantic has some things that they need to figure out. They are projected favorites in, let's see, six games. And so projected favorites in six games. They got three toss-ups. Uh, they play at Western Kentucky. Uh, they've got Marshall at home. They've got Georgia Southern at home. Yeah. Are they going to be favored against Air Force? Um. Let's see. That's a coin nope, flip game that in is, my brain. That is a loss. Uh, they are projected to lose that by four points. Okay, so I, I, I feel good about so. that being a coin flip game. Uh, not to go through their schedule. Uh, man, seven's a lot. Seven's a lot. If it was six and a half, I'd take the over. Yeah. But yeah. but to will they get to eight wins or more? I trust Willie. I do think I trust Willie. I think they take the step forward. All right, so you're going to take the over. Yeah. Taking the over at plus 110. Okay. I, I'm going to keep track of these. That's fine. Keep track of them. Um, let's see. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.